Welcome to Review Detective guys, in today's episode we're bringing you something special. The Roomba 960 that the guys at iRobot kindly sent us, so a big thank you to them. We took the time to test it out, as you'll be able to see from all the scratches, and in the next couple of minutes we'll let you know if this automated vacuum will make your life easier, or if it's better to stick with a conventional vacuum. So let's take a closer look. Inside the box you'll get the vacuum itself along with everything needed to get restarted. There's a home base onto which the Roomba goes to recharge when needed, an extra side brush that we'll get into more details later on, an extra filter and a handy virtual wall that limits where your Roomba can go. All this will set you back 699 and you'll find the link in the description down below. Now to those scratches we mentioned earlier. The Roomba is made of plastic and it will accumulate scuffs and marks from bumping into walls and squeezing under your furniture, but besides the cosmetic blemishes, you shouldn't worry as this vacuum is built for that exact purpose. The top is made of some kind of glassy material that gives it a premium look. In the front you'll find an impact bumper which helps with absorbing shocks when reaching an obstacle, and the general choice of quality plastics allows the Roomba 960 to keep up with day to day use. At a height of only 3.6 inches, this compact vacuum will have no problems going under most couches, beds and other furniture where conventional vacuums might not. But with compact size comes a rather small bin which will have to be emptied after each use. You'll be amazed at just how much dust and debris the Roomba manages to scoop up. To do so, it has two counter-rotating brushes that work in unison with the edge sweeping brush so it can efficiently grab and remove dirt from your floors. And to make sure it doesn't miss a spot, this robot uses a number of different sensors as well as a camera located on the top. All this coupled with its amazing processing power allows the Roomba to make 60 decisions every second. That same brain will map out your floor plan as it vacuums and send you a report after each completed job. Job. And using the home app, you'll be able to set at what time and how many days a week you want the Roomba to clean, along with how many sweeps and if you want the edge clean to be enabled. The Roomba 960 will clean for about 1 hour to 75 minutes before needing to recharge and it does so by returning to the home base before completing the job. If you need a vacuum with a higher battery life, here are other models that iRobot offers. But the key aspect of the 960 or the 600 and 700 versions is that it offers 5 times the air power. Now if you only want to clean on a single spot, move the Roomba to the desired area and press the button so it can start cleaning like so. As for the noise level, we were getting from 68 to 70 decibels, which is not too bad compared to our conventional vacuum that was constantly over 80. In conclusion, the Roomba 960 is quite amazing. It's not too heavy if you need to move it around, and it won't destroy the charging cables you forget on the floor. But should you throw your old vacuum away? We think not yet, as the Roomba and conventional vacuum work best as a team, use the manual one for big messes and use the 960 to maintain your house dust and dirt free. If you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more and we'll see you next time. Review Detective, out.